Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I get my no makeup makeup look. Now, it has taken me quite a long time to be comfortable wearing no makeup makeup. If you've been around my channel for a while, you would know that I've suffered with acne, breakouts, pigmentation, all that good stuff for a really long time now. And it's only been the last couple of months that my skin has really started to clear up therefore giving me a bit more confidence in wearing the no makeup makeup look. I've seen a lot of these kind of tutorials and a lot of the people doing them have super flawless, clear skin, no acne scars, no breakouts, and I'm just like, you looked fine without makeup in the first place. So if you feel a little bit like that too, then keep watching this video because I'm going to show you how you can cover up your scars and your acne quite well and just make you feel a little bit more confident wearing that no makeup look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I'll also have my Instagram linked down below and you can come follow me over there. Okay, so I just want to start by giving you a close-up of my skin. I've cleansed it this morning, I've applied my serums, my moisturizer, and my SPF. So as you can see, I'm not really getting any huge breakouts on my cheeks anymore like I used to, but I'm still getting a few around my mouth, some around my neck here, and the redness and the scars are still there because pimples on me just take so long to heal and I always have this redness and pigmentation happening. Now this no makeup makeup look isn't as easy as it sounds. I have so many steps here and it's actually quite surprising at how much effort it actually takes to look like you're not wearing that much makeup. So as I said, my skin is ready and prepped. You need to make sure you're moisturizing your skin and giving it hydration. I find when my skin is lacking this, it's when my makeup looks the worst. So to combat the redness to my skin, I'm going in with an anti-redness primer, my absolute favorite, the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness. This is the best anti-redness primer that I have tried. It really neutralizes the redness and it's a nice lightweight feeling primer as well. Now I've noticed when I'm doing these no makeup looks, my pores can look quite large. So I also like to go in with a pore filling primer. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Pore Fessional. If you're after a drugstore alternative, Astralis has the See You Later Pores Spot Primer. So I'm just putting this in the areas where my pores are the largest. So on my nose and on the sides here, a little bit through my forehead and some on the chin. Next, I like to do some more color correcting. So I'm going in with a green concealer. This one here is the Astralis Color Click. So I just like to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then go in with a brush. This is the Real Techniques, I think it's called the Deluxe Crease. The name has rubbed off, but it's a really tightly packed, dense bristle brush. Now I don't have a lot of huge breakouts at the moment, but I do have some on this side of my face that I can show you how to cover. So I just like to first start off by spreading out the green concealer. You only need a real tiny amount. And with tapping motions, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm also going to put some around the edges of my nose as it gets quite red in there. So now that I've applied that over the more red blemishes on my face, I can go in with a concealer and cover them up and also go over any other areas I want some coverage. For this, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer and I have the shade 322 Ivory and this one matches my skin tone. So I'll be going over the areas where I place the green concealer. And then just placing a little bit on any other pigmentation and redness I want to cover. I also put a little bit on my chin. All right, so we'll start out with this. You can go in and blend it with your finger, with a brush, with a sponge, whichever you prefer. I actually like to use a brush to do this. This is the Morphe E22. It's actually an eyeshadow brush 
but I find it works really well for blending out the concealer. It's kind of dense, but also has a bit of a fluffy head on it. So I just go in with small padding motions and blend this out. I then just like to grab the bum of my sponge and lightly go over everything to make sure there are no brush marks. Alright, so this is what it's looking like once the concealer has been blended out. I still feel as though it looks really natural because you can still see some of the pigmentation to my skin, but I've covered up the big blemishes and the redness that makes me feel a little self-conscious. Now for under the eyes, again I like to colour correct. So I'll be going in with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. I literally have like <laughs> hardly anything left in here. I'm scraping the edges. So I take a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to pat that under the eyes. Now I recently uploaded a video talking about the best base products for fair skin where I go in depth about color correcting. So if you'd like a little bit more information on that, I'll have the video linked down below. Then I like to go back in with the L'Oreal concealer and put a little bit of that under the eyes. And I just blend this out with my finger. So using a concealer that matches your skin tone is just going to make it look more natural rather than having that highlighted under eye look. Now if you like, you can take that concealer up onto your eyelids. I do like to leave it because I find that bit of pigmentation on my eyelids looks better than having them completely blanked out with concealer. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with powder. I'll be using my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil and I'm just going to use a tiny bit on a brush just to lightly set under the eyes. All right, so now that I have the base complete and I've got my blemishes covered up, I can go in and start adding some color and dimension back into my face. So for no makeup, makeup looks, I prefer to use cream products as I find they look a bit more natural. So I'll be starting out with bronzer. I have two products here that I like to use. The first one is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. And then I also have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 331 Latte. Now, as you can see, there is quite a difference in these shades. I find the NYX one has more of a cool undertone. So it's good for kind of contouring and sculpting the face. Whereas this one is good if you just want that bronzed look. I'll go in with both and just show you how they look. So I'll start with the NYX and I just do three little dots. Now I know it looks quite dark and scary, but once you blend it out, it's all good. To blend this out, I like to go in with my Real Techniques. I'm pretty sure this is called the Face Expert brush. And this is a short bristled, densely packed brush. So it's going to be really easy to blend this out. So I like to start with patting motions. I don't usually go in with swiping motions because I feel like I'll be moving the products underneath. Whereas if I just pat, I'm still blending it and I'm not moving my other products around. And then I'll just go in with a bit of the L'Oreal to show you. Now this does look quite light, but it actually bronzes up the skin really nicely. And if you're new to this, I would probably recommend going in with a shade more like this because it's not as intimidating and it's easier to work with. What I like about the L'Oreal concealers as well is that because it's a really full coverage concealer, you get that little bit of extra coverage on your cheeks. There we have it. So this is the side without any product and this is the side with.
Next is blush and I have been absolutely obsessed with the Savvy Cheek and Lip Color and this is in the shade Sleek Rose. So I go in with another Real Techniques brush. This is the Sculpting Brush. Again, it's got those nice, dense, tightly packed hairs, but as you can see, this one's on a bit of an angle. This would also be really good for blending out the bronzer. I like to go in with quite a bit of blush when I'm doing this kind of look because it just adds that color to my skin that I really need. Now time for highlight, which is one of my favorite parts. Today I'll be using the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Lip From Within Illuminating Balm. This highlighter just gives the most beautiful, wet, glossy look to the skin. If you want something that's a little bit more natural, then I suggest the Flower Beauty Chubby Highlighter Stick. Yes, it's called the Glisten Up Highlighter Chubby, and this is in the shade Pearl Shimmer. I'll apply both of them so you can see the difference. So I like to use the Balm of My Beauty Blender. For the stick, I just rub it on there and then I just dab it onto my cheekbones. Just beautiful. It looks really natural and your skin looks really radiant. I love it. And then for the balm, again, I take the Balm of My Beauty Blender and just kind of poke it in there. I also pinch it a bit as well, so it's not as wide of a application. Okay. <laughs> Just going to go over this side with the balm, cause I love it. And then with whatever's remaining, I just put a little bit on my forehead and my brow bone. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you do find you get a little oily throughout the day, it's a good idea to just put a little bit of powder on. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is in the shade 110. So I'll just use this tiny powder brush. It's the Morphe E43. A little bit on my chin, a little bit on and around my nose, and on my forehead. All right, we are nearly there. This no makeup makeup look is coming together. Now it's time for brows. So I like to start off with a tinted brow gel. I have two here I love. The first one is the designer brand Bow... Designer Brands Brow Power. And then I also have the MAC Brow Set. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Brow Set and just lightly brush my hairs up and get any of those blondies that need a little bit of tinting. Now, if you have quite full and bushy brows, a gel is probably all you need, but I am a little sparse through my, what's it called, arch, and I also like to add a little bit of definition through the front. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So as the name suggests, this one has a very, very tiny tip, and I'm actually nearly out. It's not winding up anymore. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna be much use. So instead, I'll go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade Pen. I have a full review on this. It's freaking amazing. So I'm going to go in with the pencil side and I'll start by underlining the bottom here and then filling in the arch. I'm then going to use the brush tip of the brow blade and do some little flicks. So much for a natural brow, wow. <laughs> I just can't control myself. Now this step isn't necessary, but I do like to clean up under my brows. So I'm going in with a small concealer brush and a smidge of concealer. Now 
Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of bronzer and just apply that under my lower lash line. I just don't like the look of mascara under there with no eyeshadow. I don't know. It just looks a bit weird on me, I think. So I'm just going to put a little bit under there. And then for mascara, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic, and this is actually a brown mascara. I find that a brown mascara just looks a little bit more natural over a black. And then for my lips, I just get a Q-tip or a tissue and wipe off any makeup that is on them. And then I usually just go in with a lip balm or a lip gloss. So today I'm going to use the Colourpop, Colourplop, <laughs> Colourpop lip gloss in the shade Fairy Floss. And then last but not least, a finishing spray. This is the Shake and Glow Luminous Setting Spray by L'Oreal. This is just going to leave a nice sheen and glow to the skin to make me look really healthy and radiant. All right, well there you have it. A super quick, super easy, minimal products, no makeup, makeup look. No, not really. As you just saw, it does take quite a bit of effort to achieve this no makeup look. But in the end, I think it's worth it. I love that you can still see my natural skin peeping through, but I feel like I've got enough coverage where I feel confident in my skin. I'll just give you a close up now so you can see what the skin is looking like. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and like what you see, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel and I would love it if you would subscribe. I really hope this video helped you guys out and I hope that you're able to feel confident in your skin with minimal makeup on. As I said, it was quite hard for me and I haven't started feeling more confident until my skin started clearing up. But I hope some of these little techniques and applications can help you cover up your acne and your scars and make you feel confident and beautiful in your skin. All right, well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.